God, Facebook Live, Periscope Live. Once again, this is Evangelist Sabine Burrow from Philadelphia. This is 12 a.m. War Cry. Praise the Lord, Periscope Live. Praise the Lord, Facebook Live. Another Tuesday morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome Periscope Live, welcome Facebook Live, praise the Lord, so grateful for another Tuesday morning, 12 a.m., War Cry. put our name on the roll call. We're not any better than those that did not wake up on this morning, but we thank him for the activities of our limbs. We thank him for his goodness. We thank him for his faithfulness. We thank him for his mercy. We thank him the fact that when we open up our eyes, grace unfold, amen, and we come, as King David says, Wash us, purify us. One thing, do not take your Holy Spirit away from us, my God. Create in us a clean heart and a right spirit. Hallelujah. This morning, Lord God, we ask that you remove anything that is not like you. Remove any form of godliness. Remove anything that is plugging our hearts remove anything that is hindering our prayers on this morning oh god we surrender we surrender we surrender we surrender to the totality of your will we say yes to your way we say yes to your will we say have your way nevertheless not our will but let your will be done in our lives we say in our lives you be magnified we say in our lives you be glorified oh hallelujah we thank you on this morning for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for what you are, oh God, not what we can get from you. Hallelujah. On this morning, oh God, we lift up our hands as a sign of surrenderance. We surrender to your will. We surrender to your way. This morning, if there's anything left in us, oh God, there is a war cry. There is a travail. There is a lamenting, oh God. Teach us how to lay between the porches of the altar. Teach us, oh God, how to toil all night. Teach us, oh God, to go back to basic. Take us back to the time when we first found you, Lord God. Take us back to the time when we first believe. Oh, take us back, oh God. This morning, oh God, we don't want the same shallow shout. We don't want the same shallow anointing. Us, Give us a new sound in the anointing. Give us a new sound in you, oh God. Take us to a higher depth in you. Take us to a greater dimension in you, oh 
this morning, oh God, we are not seeking the carnal things. We're not coming to you, oh God, to ask you to bless us with a house. We're not coming to ask you to bless us with a car, oh God. But this morning, oh God, we are seeking a habitual fellowship. This morning, oh God, we are seeking your hands. This Not your hands. This morning, we are seeking your face. We are not seeking your fa- your hands, God. This morning, we say, have your way. As King David said, oh God, create in me a right heart. Create in me a right spirit, oh God. Create in me, oh God. Create in me a heart, oh God, that will really come after you, oh God. A heart like the deer panted for the water. That is how our soul is longing after you. That is our how our soul delight in you, oh God. This morning, my soul seeks to please you. My soul shabak you. My soul reverence you. My soul bless you, oh God. I bless you with every fiber of my being. I bless you with everything in me. This morning, oh God, with my hands lifted up, with my hands lifted up as a sign of surrenderance. This morning, oh God, give ears to our cry and attend unto our prayers. From the end of the earth, we will cry unto you. When our heart is overwhelmed, Lord God, lead us to the water brook. Lead us to the rock that is higher than us. This morning, oh God, my mind says yes. My will says yes. My emotion says yes. My desire says yes. All of me says yes. This morning, oh God, I thank you, oh God, for the activities of my limbs. This morning, oh God, I thank you, oh God, because I don't have a, a, a a caregiver that is rolling me over every two hours, but I am able, oh God, to move on my own. For that, I bless you. For that, I reverence you. This morning, oh God, I thank you for clothing me in my right mind. I should have lost my mind because of the attack, because of the things that I'm going through, because of the things that I am faced with. I should have jumped off a building, but I thank you for clothing me in my right mind. I thank you for being my mind regular. Later. I thank you for being a heart fixer on this morning. I thank you, oh God, this morning, oh God. I thank you, oh God, for keeping me when I did not want to be kept. You kept me in my right mind. You kept me shielded. You kept me protected this morning, oh God. I thank you. I thank you. The fact that I should have been in a mental institution, I should have lost my mind, but you kept me clothed in the right mind. You kept me sane. This morning, oh God, I come to give you glory. This morning, I come to lift your name on high. This morning, I'm not sharing your glory with anybody else, but I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. I give you all the praise. This morning, oh God, you be lifted up. You be lifted up. You said if you be lifted up, you will draw all men onto you. This morning, I lift you up. This morning, I make you bigger than my problem. This morning, I make you bigger than my circumstances. This morning, I make you bigger than my station of life. This morning, I ask, oh God, those that are under the sound of my voice, those that are on Periscope Live, those that are on Facebook Live, oh God, I ask that they'll have a divine encounter with you even right now oh god you know what everybody in this room is standing in need of oh god you know where they are right now oh god in their station of life you know where they are right now lord god in their minds you know where they are right now lord god in their hearts right now i ask oh god that you will remove every ill feeling that you will remove everything that is not of you oh god no longer we will allow our flesh to dictate us but this morning, oh God, we will sit long enough and we will be unctioned by the Holy Spirit. We will allow the Holy Spirit to dictate our move. Our next breath is depending on you, God. Our next breath is depending on you. This morning, we acknowledge your sovereignty. This morning, we acknowledge that you have no rival. This morning, we know that you have no equal. This morning, we know that we cannot compare you to nobody. This morning, we know that if you don't move in 
on our behalf. If you don't intervene in our situation, God, it cannot be done. This morning we know, oh God, if you don't come through for us, it will not happen, oh God. This morning we surrender. This morning, oh God, we ask, oh God, that you create in us a clean heart and a right spirit, oh God. This morning, oh God, no longer our prayers will just hit the ceiling, but we ask, oh God, that you will lean in our direction, that you will give ears to our cry, give ears to our cry, oh Lord, and attend unto our prayers. From the end of the earth, we will cry unto you when our heart is overwhelmed. Lead us to the rock. Jesus, we need you. Jesus, we cannot make it without you. Jesus, we acknowledge you. Jesus, we acknowledge your presence. Jesus, we know that your presence is what can fill our void. We know that it's your presence that can quench our thirst. You said those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. This morning, oh God, we are hungry and thirsty for you. This morning, we acknowledge that your presence is what can catapult us into a new level. Your presence, oh God, is what can take us from glory to glory. This morning, we don't want the same shallow shout. This morning, we don't want the same shallow anointing, but we are in the press, oh God. We are determined, oh God, that you will take us to a new level in you, that you will take us to a new realm in you, Jesus. This morning, we need you. This morning, we acknowledge we cannot make it by ourselves. This morning, we acknowledge by ourselves it will not not work on our own it will not work we need you jesus we need you we need you like the earth need rain we need you like our with like our, our body need blood this morning oh god we need a move from you this morning we need heaven to intervene for us this morning we need heaven to have its way we need you oh god we need you oh god the deal that is on the table we need you to come through we need you oh god the business still we need you to come through oh god right now oh god somebody somewhere needs you and they need you quickly somebody somewhere needs you oh god somebody that's laying on their sick bed they need you somebody oh god that is in the courtroom they need you oh god to show yourself mighty and strong they need you as a just judge they need you to be a lawyer in the courtroom oh god somebody oh god needs you and they need you quickly jesus they need you they know, Father God, if you don't come through, it will not happen. They know, Father God, this time, if you don't intervene where they are right now, oh God, their situation will not change. This morning, Lord, this morning at midnight, Paul and Silas had a cry. They started praising you, and the bands were loose. Their shackles fell off. At midnight, there is something that you are doing in the midnight hours. There is something that you are doing in the midnight hours. This morning, oh God, we are releasing our war cry. A war cry from the depths of our bellies, from the depths of our soul. This morning, oh God, it cannot be done. It cannot be done. Somebody needs you to come through. Somebody needs you to do it, Lord. Somebody's child need you, oh God. You know the marriages that are laying in the balance. You know the marriages that's laying in the balance, oh God. This morning, oh God, somebody needs you to do it. Somebody need a miracle. Somebody is standing in need of a miracle, oh God. They need you, oh God. They need you, oh God, in their debt situation. You know everything. You know every dead place in their lives, oh God. This morning, oh God, we ask that you revive. We ask that you will resuscitate every dead thing. Just like you told Ezekiel, son of man, can these dry bones live? And you told him to prophesy to the dry bones. This morning, oh God, we are prophesying to the dead areas of our lives. We are prophesying to dead situations in our lives. Can those situations live? This morning, oh God, we are asking that you resuscitate. We are asking that you revive. That you revive us again. That you revive us again on this morning, oh God. This morning, oh God. 
We say, have your way. This morning, oh God, we say, if you don't do it, it will not be done. This morning, we say, we need you, oh God. We need you, oh God. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you to intervene. We need you to have your way. We need you to come through, oh God, like never before. If there's ever a time, oh God, that we need you. If there's ever a time that we need to return back to basic, is now, oh God. This morning, oh God, we are returning back. We are turning turning down our plates and we are seeking your face this morning oh god we are returning back oh god we are returning back to our secret place we are returning to our secret place this morning praise is our sacrifice worship is our sacrifice oh god this morning oh god you said in your word, even the words that we cannot articulate even our moaning and groanings you understand you understand the words that cannot be uttered out of men. This morning you understand when we say, mm-hmm, Jesus. This morning you understand when we say, have your way, Jesus. This morning you understand the words that cannot be articulated, oh God. This morning we are asking, oh God, that you will come through for us, Jesus. That you will come see about us, oh God. You said when we cry out, oh God, when Zion cries out, she brought forth, oh God. You said if we cry unto you, oh God, you will come see about, about us, oh God. At this 12 a.m. hour, oh God, it is a war cry. It is a cry of desperation. It is a cry, oh God. It is a cry, oh God, that no one else can do it. It is a cry that Jesus, without you, it cannot be done. It is a cry, oh God, that we need you, oh God. We need you, oh God. We need you like our bodies need blood. We need you like the earth need rain. Jesus, we need you. This morning, we cannot make it without you. By ourselves, it will not work. By ourselves, it cannot work. We need a move from you, Jesus. Jesus, we need you. Jesus, we need you. Jesus, Jesus, how we love to call on your name. Jesus, 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 there is healing in your name. Jesus, there is power in your name. Jesus, there is deliverance in your name. We are not calling on the name of Mohammed. I am not calling on the name of Buddha. I'm not calling on the name of Allah. I'm not calling on the name of Hare Krishna. I'm not calling on the name of Confucius, but I'm calling on the name of Jesus. Jesus, who died and rose with all power in his hand. Jesus, Jesus, you robbed the grave. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, we thank you for the finished work of Calvary. We thank you for the... Um, finished work of, of the garden of Gethsemane this morning Jesus somebody needs to experience Jesus somebody needs to have an encounter with you somebody need a divine encounter somebody needs you oh God we ask on this morning that you will reveal yourself oh God that you will prove the doubters wrong oh God that you will help our unbelief oh God that you will help our unbelief on this morning prove the doubt is wrong, oh God. Show them that you are mighty and strong. Be lifted up, oh he gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. For the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord mighty in battle. The Lord strong. Oh, be lifted up, oh God. Be lifted up above our circumstances. Be lifted up above our situation. Be lifted up, oh he gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Oh, Hallelujah, we bless you, we worship you. On this morning, we shabak you, oh God. This morning, we are sounding our alarms. This morning, we are sounding our alarm. At this midnight hour, we are sounding our alarm. This morning, oh God, we are raising up our voice. We are raising up our voice as a mighty trumpet. This morning, we are raising up our war cry. And we say, have your way, Jesus. We say, do what only you can do, oh God. Do what no man can do. Do what the doctor cannot do, oh God. Somebody, oh God, is about to draw the last breath, but I ask in the name of Jesus that they will encounter you, oh God, that they will confess that Jesus is a Lord before they draw their last breath. On this morning, oh God, I ask that you will visit the nursing home, that you will visit those that are on hospice, that you will visit those that are on their sick bed, oh God. If somebody is standing in need of a healing, oh God, you said healing is your 
children bread. Healing is our portion in the name of Jesus. Sickness and disease, illness is not our portion. Right now we bind the enemies of our flesh. This morning, oh God, we bind the hand of the enemy. We draw back the hand in the, of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We break the enemy's arrows. We are not afraid by the terrors of night. We are not afraid by the arrows that flies by noonday. We have made the Lord our hiding place. We have made the Lord our dwelling place. You said he that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This morning, oh God, we are hiding under the shadow of the Almighty. Coronavirus is not our portion, oh God. This morning, I release the blood of Jesus on the scope. I release the blood of Jesus on Facebook. I release the blood of Jesus over everyone that is under the sequency of my voice. Oh, the blood of Jesus locates you where you are. The blood of Jesus will locate you at your low place. The Lord, blood of Jesus will locate you at your low place. The blood of Jesus will locate you at whatever station of life that you find yourself to be in. This morning, I send the blood to locate your mind. I send the blood to your heart. I send the blood to mandate the broken pieces in the name of Jesus. We say, Jesus, have your way, oh God. Do something like you that you've never done. Move in this place, oh God. We are asking that we have an encounter with your presence, oh God. We want to experience the glory of your goodness. We want to experience the glory of your goodness, oh God. You said from glory to glory you will take us, oh God. You said from glory to glory you will catapult us, oh God. On this morning, oh God, we want to experience the glory of your goodness. We say let us encounter you, oh God, in a way that we've never encountered you before. We want to experience the glory of your goodness. We want to see your glory be made manifest in our lives. We want to see your glory be made manifest in our lives. Oh God, we want you to be manifest. Uh, make your glory manifest. We ask that you purify our lives. We ask that you sanctify our lives. On this morning, sanctification is our aim. This morning, we ask that you take us back to the time when we first believe. Take us back to the time when we first found you. Take us back to the time, oh God, where we were on fire for you, oh God, because you and I, oh God, are a majority. Oh, this morning, oh God, we want that divine encounter. This morning, we want your presence, oh God. We will not go unless your presence go with us, oh God. We cannot do it, oh God, on our own. We cannot do it in our own might. We cannot do it in our own ability. We need you, oh God. We need you like our body need blood, oh God. We need you, Jesus. We need need you, oh God. This morning, oh God, we lift up America before your throne of grace. We lift up Donald Trump, oh God. We lift up everyone that you have placed in authority, oh God. We ask that you rest, rule, and abide. We ask that you have your way according to 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. You said if your people, which are called by your name, will turn from their wicked ways, will humble themselves and pray, you will hear from us and heal our land. This morning, oh God, we ask that you will redeem mankind that you will return America back to its original state one nation under God one nation under God we say have your way on this morning this morning oh God we lift up we lift up everyone that you have place in authority, oh God. I lift up my home country as well before your throne of grace. I lift up Haiti, oh God. I ask, oh God, that a revival will hit the Haitian nation. That revival, repentance will hit Haiti like never before. I lift up Haiti before your throne of grace, oh God. We know that Haiti need a move of God. We know that Haiti does not have a president issue, but Haiti has a God issue. This morning, oh God, we lift up Haiti, oh God, and we say, Say, have your way in Haiti. Whichever way you see fit to do it, oh God, we surrender Haiti in your capable hand. We lift up Haiti before you, oh God. We ask, oh God, that you move on behalf of Haiti like never before. That you will come through. We bind witchcraft. We bind voodoo. We bind sorcery in the name of Jesus. We send the blood to permeate on the four corners of Haiti in the name of Jesus. We send the blood to permeate 
it on the four corners of this earth. I lift up every state before your throne of grace. I lift up every continent in the name of Jesus. And I send the blood. We know that prayer have no limitation. We know that prayer has no distance. We know that prayer have no limit on this morning, oh God. We know that you are not stuck in time. We know, Father God, you are not stuck in time. We know, Father God, everything that you do, you will do it in your own time. You're never too late. You're never too early. You are a on-time God. So this morning, oh God, we say, have your way. We say, do what only you can do. Do what no man can do. And you get all the glory. This morning, I give you praise on credit. Somebody somewhere, oh God, is standing between a hard place. Somebody has a hard decision to make, but I ask Father God that you will lead and guide them, guide them every step of the way. This morning, oh God, I lift up every man of God. I lift up every woman of God, oh God, before your throne of grace. I lift up every pastor. I lift up every apostle. I lift up every prophet. I lift up every evangelist, every teacher, oh God, before your throne of grace. You know the church door, oh God, that is about to close. But we know, Father God, the church was built on the solid rock. It was not built on sinking sand. In the name of Jesus, I ask, Father God, that the gate of hell will not prevail. That you will prove the doubters wrong. That you will do, O oh God, what only you can do, O oh God. We know one this morning that you are mighty to save. We know that you are mighty. Yes, my sister, I will. Um, sister Barbara, I will lift up your family in prayer. God bless you. You know what exactly we stand in need of. You know what exactly our station of life, oh God. This morning, oh God, we ask that you will prove yourself mighty and strong. That you will show up and show out in our situation. That you will do it beyond the scope of our expectation, oh God. This morning, oh God, we are asking, we need a move of you, oh God. We need a tsunami of your glory. We need you to intervene. We need you to have your way, Lord God. Hallelujah. Say with me. One more time, say. I'm no Blessing, Periscope. With a melody, you surround me with a song. Come on, sing. Love delivers from my enemies till all my fears are. Let's do that one more time. You unravel me, sing. Blessings. You unravel me with a melody. I just want you guys to just listen to this. To the words of this worship, I'm no longer a slave to fear, right? You know, at time we sing it, right? We sing the words, I'm no longer a slave to fear. But I found myself within the last couple of weeks, I always say I want my heart and my the, the the things that comes out of my heart to matches my mouth confession we sit here and say we're no longer a slave to fear but in all reality we have minute things little things that are in that has us in bondage that had a, has us in chains we're no longer in a, a slave to fear that means we have to Whatever we are faced with, we have to totally, totally learn how to depend on God. Even when it looks chaotic, even when it looks crazy, we have to learn how to surrender it all to God. And I find myself operating in fear. And um, the song, I don't want to just give God lip service. I want it to be a reality. I am no longer a slave to fear because I am a child of God. So whichever way God see to do it, he gets all the glory. I will not be 
in fear. I will not be entangled in fear because I don't see the end result because we all know that God is the author and the finisher of it all. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He knows the end from the beginning. That's what the Bible says. He knows the end from the beginning and everything that comes in between. So whatever situation that you find yourself in, don't just give God lip service in that song. You're no longer a slave to fear. You are a child of God. We should not be have fear keep us paralyzed, keep us bound because fear is not knowing what's on the other side. And this morning I was sitting down, I'm like everything that I've went through, all the pain, it birthed out purpose. But when you find yourself in the midst of pain, struggle, challenges, you don't know what's on the other side of it. My goodness. And this song, it came to my mind. I'm like, oh my God. So I've just been doing myself a disservice. So I'm here singing. I'm no longer a slave to fear. But fear has really been operating. Amen. So on this morning, I don't know if you are chained, if you are bound by fear, but you don't have to operate in fear. Listen to the words of this song. And I pray that it ministers to you as it ministered to me. Amen. Jesus for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. What I am, you made me. What I have, you gave me on this morning, oh God. I release the blood of Jesus and I ask in the name of Jesus that you will meet everyone that is under the sound of my voice. Whatever it is that they stand in need of, oh God. You said we're one or two or touching any which thing you are in our midst, oh God. It doesn't take a multitude. It takes one or two. That's what you said in your word. One or two. I believe the nine that is on Facebook Live and the one that I have on Periscope Live, whatever it is that we are standing in need of, oh God, that you will move. We need a tsunami of your glory. We need to experience the goodness of your glory. We need, oh God, a divine encounter with you, oh God, a divine encounter. We need you to meet us right here, right here, right now, oh God, in our situation, oh God, in our minds, oh God, in our hearts, oh God. We need you, oh God. We need you like our body need blood. We need you, oh God, like the earth need rain on this morning, oh God. We are no longer bound by fear. We will no longer allow fear to dictate our life. This morning, we will sit long enough in your word. We know who we are in you. We know whose we are. We know that we are a child of God. We know, Father God, we cannot do it in our own ability. We know that we cannot do it in our own capability. But we know we can do all things through Christ who strengthens in us. We know we can do it through Christ who strengthen us, through Christ who give us strength. No longer we will let 
fear dominate our life. No longer we will allow fear to dictate our move. This morning, oh God, as we sit under you long enough, oh God, we will be unctioned, oh God. We will be unctioned by the Holy Ghost. We will not be afraid by the terrors of night. We will not be afraid, oh God, by what the enemy sent our ways, oh God. We thank you on this morning, oh God, because we know on the other side of our pain, on the other side of our tribulation, on the other side of what we're going through, oh God, you will be with us, oh God, and you know everything that lays in between, oh God. You know the end from the beginning because you are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the Lion of Judah. You are the Roll of Sharon. You are the Lily of the Valley. Oh God, you are the Ancient of Days. You are here before time begins. You are the I Am that I Am. We bless you on this morning. We shabak you on this morning. In the midst of our pain, oh God. We learn not to be conditional praises. We learn to bless you at all times according to Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. That means in bad time we are to praise you. In good time we are to praise you because you are faithful God and you are God alone on this morning, oh God. In whatever situation that we find ourselves in, you will get all the glory. In whatever station of life that we find ourselves in, oh God, even in our low place, we will bless you, oh God. This morning, we thank you for the blood of Jesus, the blood that makes us whole, the blood that gives us strength from day to day. We thank you for the blood. This morning, we acknowledge the blood. We ask, oh God, in this moment, this very moment as we carve it aside to come, oh God, to encourage counter your glory. This morning, oh God, we come, oh God, to experience the goodness of your glory. We ask, oh God, on this morning that we will come and sync with you, that you will fine tune our soul in the name of Jesus. That right now, oh God, that you will minister to our broken heart, that you will regulate a mind right now. We thank you, oh God, for shielding us, oh God, for protecting us, oh God, for keeping us in our right mind, that we are no longer a slave to fear and we are a child of God. No longer we will operate or allow fear to dictate our move, oh God. This morning we ask, oh God, that we will experience the glory of your goodness. This morning, oh God, we ask that we'll come to know you in ways that we've never known you before, oh God. We ask that you will reveal yourself even the more through your words, oh God. We all know that you are not like man that should lie or the son of man that shall repent. We know that your word will not return to you void without it accomplishing everything that you have ordained for it to accomplish. This morning, oh God, somebody needs you to intervene in their situation. Somebody needs you to intervene in their circumstances. Somebody needs you to come through for them. Somebody said, God, if you don't do it, I don't know what's gonna happen. Somebody needs you, oh God. Somebody on this Facebook live, oh God, need you to come through like never before. This morning, I ask in the name of Jesus that you will reclaim back a backslider, that you will save somebody that needs to be saved, oh God, that you will save someone that needs to be saved. Reclaim the backslider onto you, Jesus. On this morning, we are lifting up our daughters, oh God, that are prostituting. We lift up our daughters that are on, that's on the corners, oh God. We lift up our sons that are strung out on drugs. We lift up our sons that are gang banging, oh God. This morning, oh God, a mother is crying for their child that is in prison. This morning, oh God, a mother is crying for their child that is in a hospital room, oh God. We ask, Father God, that the blood will locate them. We ask, Father God, that you will arrest them, that you will reclaim them back to you in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, reclaim a backslider. Save someone for real, oh God. Save someone that is under the sound of my voice for real, Jesus. Save someone, oh God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, because we know that you are mighty to save. We know that you are mighty to deliver. We know that you are mighty to set free. On this morning, we ask that you have your way. We know that your hands is not too short, oh God. We know that your hands is not too short. I know that you can snatch them, oh God. We know that you are no respecter of a person, oh God. Save somebody's child on this morning. 
We lift up our children, oh God. We lift up our neighborhood. We lift up our community before your throne of grace. And we say, have your way, oh God. Do whatever you see fit to do. You are the only one that can do it, God. No one else can do it. If you don't do it, oh God, it cannot be done. This morning, oh God, I lift up everyone that is on Facebook Live, on Periscope Live, before your throne of grace. You know their situation. You know their station of life. You know what they stand in need of, God. I ask even right now, oh God, that you will speak a word to their situation. That one word can change the trajectory of their life. One word, God. Just one word, oh Lord. Just one word. I ask right now that you regulate minds in the name of Jesus. I ask that you fix heart, oh God. That you mend the broken hearts, oh God. I thank you, oh God. The fact that you made a covenant to the backsliders. You said you are married to the backsliders. Save somebody, oh Lord. We claim a backslider, Jesus. We claim a backslider onto you this morning. This morning, oh God, we lift up our Shabbats. This morning, we lift up our travails. This morning, we lift up our war cry. This morning, oh God, we lift up our war cry. We say, do it, Jesus. If you don't come through, it cannot be done. If you don't do it, it cannot be done. We ask that you come through, oh God. That you will come through, oh God. Come through, Jesus, like never before. Come through, oh God. We don't believe the doctor's report. We ask, Father God, right now that you dry up cancer. That you eradicate cancer in the name of Jesus. That you dry out tumors in the name of Jesus. Sugar, diabetes, high blood pressure. In the name of Jesus, we bind you. Hallelujah. Healing in the name of Jesus. Release your healing virtue on this scope. Release your healing virtue on this Facebook Live right now, God. It cannot be done, oh God. Someone needs to know that you are Jehovah Jireh. Somebody needs to know that you are Jehovah Rapha. Somebody needs to know that you are Jehovah Tiskinu. Somebody needs to know that you are Jehovah Sabbath. Someone needs to know that you are Jehovah Nisi. You are Lord our banner. You are the banner that goes before us. You are our battle axe. Somebody needs to know you as Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning of and the end. Somebody needs to know you as the Lion of Judah. Roar on this place. Roar in this place right now. In the name of Jesus. Somebody needs to know that you are Jehovah Shalom. You are their peace. You are the peace that surpasses all understanding. You are the peace that surpasses all human comprehension. Oh, yes. You are our peace. You are our mind regulator. You are our heart fixer. Somebody needs to experience you, oh God. Somebody needs to know that you are all that and then some. Somebody needs to know, oh God. That you are the lawyer in the courtroom. That you are a just judge. Somebody needs to know, Father God, that you are still in the miracle business. Right now, oh God, let miracles, let miracle signs and wonder follow. Right now, oh God, somebody is standing in need of a miracle, oh God. Do it, Lord God. Do it, oh God. Do it, oh God. Do what the doctors cannot do. Do what the medication cannot do. You supersede the doctors. You supersede the medication, oh God. You supersede the doctor's report. We believe in the report of the Lord. We believe in your report. We believe in your report, oh God. We don't believe in what men says we don't believe in men's report but we believe in the report of the lord yes god we believe in your report we believe only in what you do oh god we believe only you can do it we believe oh god only you can do it no one else can do it god if you don't come through for us oh god it's not going to happen if you don't deliver us oh god we will not be delivered on this morning oh god we ask in the name of Jesus.
that somebody knows you as a deliverer, that somebody knows you as a way maker, that somebody knows you, oh God, as their doctor in their sick bed. There is still a bomb in Gilead. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are the God that heal. You are the God that heal. You said healing is your children, bread, oh God. We bind the spirit of infirmity. We bind the spirit of infirmity in Jesus' name. We bind the spirit of sickness the sickness that is trying to plague our body we bind it right now in the name of jesus let somebody encounter your glory jesus let somebody come to know you like they've never known you before oh god reveal yourself even the more right now god speak to someone's situation oh god speak to someone's circumstances even right now oh god Right now, we ask that you move by your spirit, God. Move by your spirit. Move by your spirit, oh God. Do what only you can do, oh God. Do what the lawyer cannot do. Do what no man can do. Come through, oh God. Come through the deal that's laying on the table, oh God. You know what everyone that is under the sequency of my voice, what they stand in need of, oh God. You know their very station of life. You know where they are, oh God. You know them one by one, name by name, situation by situation, Jesus. You know what they stand in need of, oh God. You know how they want you to come through for them, oh God. On this morning, oh God, we thank you for all that you are, for all that you represent in our lives, oh God. For all that you have done, oh God. If we have forgotten, oh God, if we are stuck in a place we are having, oh God, a shortage of memory, oh God, help us to remember what you've done before, oh God. Help us to remember what you have delivered us from, O oh God. Help us to remember what you have snatched us out of, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for snatching us out of the hand of the enemy. We thank you, O oh God, for where we are right now, O oh God. We might not be where we would like to be, where we would like to be, but we are not where we once were. We thank you even right now, oh God, for what you have done for the old testimonies. Yes. When we look back over our lives, Lord, it was you all along. When we look back over our lives, oh God, and we see, oh God, some of the things that we've done when we wasn't saved, oh God. Especially me. When I look back over my life, oh God. I'm seeing the people that I used to mingle with or deported. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I, oh God, that you are mindful of me? But you had a purpose for my life. I, so I know some people that I used to hang around with. Some of them are dead. But who am I that you are mindful of me? That goes to show that you were not done with me. The promise and the prophecy that's on my life has not been fulfilled. And I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for sparing my life. I thank you, oh God, for leaving the 99 righteous to come find that one which was me, which was me. Oh, what reckless love of God. It leaves the 99 every time to come find that one lost sheep, which was me. I'm not any better than those that are out there. I'm not any better than those that did not answer the call. I'm not any better than those that are still strung out on drugs. I'm not any better than those that lost their mind. I should have lost my mind. But you kept me clothed in the right mind. You kept me even when I did not want to be kept. You kept me for such a time as this. So for that, I give you glory. For that, I shabak you. For that, oh God, if you don't answer another prayer, you've done enough that I can bless you the rest of my life. I thank you, oh God. I remember not too long ago, I went to church and my pastor was preaching. And I'm like, oh my God, this man is just preaching my whole life. And he was like, you're not any better than those that you were hanging out with. 
And that, that ended up in jail. I'm not. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for where I'm sitting right now at this 1249 a.m. I've been through so much domestic violence. And he said it. He was like, God kept you. I remember at one point I was in this crazy relationship. And I was dealing with this psychopath. Pulled out a gun on me. An ice pick. And I'm sitting here now. And when he was saying that, I'm like, oh my God, this is stuff that I've never even, you know, testified about, you know? And if you could see my t-shirt on tonight, it says, your gossip is my testimony. And that was at one point, that was my story. You know, what I testify about, it became the gossip, but to God be the glory. The gossip will help somebody. Because it's my testimony. Amen. So um, when he said this, oh my God, it blew my mind. I said, Lord, I'd never even testify about this crazy relationship. And God spared me from so much cancer, tumors, <laughs> from being killed, living a crazy, reckless life. And that's why I love this song, Oh Reckless love of God. I'm about to play it. I'm looking for it. reckless love of God. He said he leaves the 99 righteous to come find that one lost sheep, which was me, which is you. I don't deserve it. I couldn't earn it. Hey Amen. I'm going to have you guys listen to it and then I'm going to close out. Those that don't know, it's, the song is Reckless Love of God. You leave the 99 to find the one every time. Before I spoke a word. Mm -hmm. Before I spoke a word, you were singing. Good breath, you breathe your life in me, yeah. and you have been so so kind. Blessings. Come on, every voice, lift it all. Word it says, 
Oh, the reckless love of God. It chases me down. It leaves the 99, the 99 righteous to come find the one lost sheep, that one lost soul. I love it. He leaves the 99 righteous to come find that one lost soul. So that means his love is so reckless that he will leave the 99 righteous to go find that one, that one, that one lost soul. Let it sink. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, which was me, you. I don't know where you are in life. He will leave the 99 righteous to go find that one. Let that sink in. Let it sink in. His love is that reckless. He has 99. Why must he go find that one? That one soul is important to him. He will risk it all. He will risk Leaving the 99 righteous for that one lost sheep. That's why the song is called, Oh, Reckless Love of God. His love is reckless. He left the 99 righteous to come find me. I'm grateful. Mm. I thank him for his goodness. I thank him for his mercy. I thank him for his reckless love. I thank him for being mindful of me when I was his foe. He still loved me. He still covered me. He was patient with me. I wasn't always doing this. I was not born saved. I was not saved all my life. I had a jack the past. I had a messed up life. As you can see, my very first book. Is title out of my mess, God birthed a message. I was a mess. My life was crazy. I did not start my life with Christ, but I guarantee the devil I will finish up with Christ. Amen. You know, when you have a piece of ice, my mom always give this example. When you have an ice and the ice melt, that's how my days will be in the hand of God. I will melt right in his hand. I will finish up with Christ. Yeah. So on this morning, I don't know what station of life that you may find yourself. I don't know if you know Christ. I cannot assume everyone that's on Periscope Live or on Facebook Live is safe. So is no, my, I heard my pastor said it this Sunday. There's no such thing as a sinner's prayer amen if you read romans 8 8 10 and 9 it says if you confess with your mouth that jesus is lord let me find it for you and i'm gonna leave you with that Okay. It says, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and you are justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and you are saved. Amen. So scripture again is Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. If you believe and you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you are saved. The Bible says there is no other name under the heaven can man be saved. It's by the name of Jesus Christ and his name alone. Jesus was, Jesus is. And Jesus is forever, from everlasting to everlasting. He is God. From the advents of time, he is God. I'm not saying Buddha, Muhammad, Allah, but I'm saying the name of Jesus Christ because I don't know any of these men died and on the third day they rose. 
But I know that my Jesus had died and, all the, and on the third day he rose with all power in his hand. And with the key of grave, I, I mean in his hand. So he is that powerful. So in the name of Jesus, only in his name, you can be saved and be born again. Amen. I'm not going to keep you long. So I ask that the Lord bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon everyone that is under the sequency of my voice. I pray that if you don't know Christ, that you will come to know the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. That you cannot do life without him. I pray wherever you are in life, in your mind, in your heart, in your mind, in your station of life, that you will have a divine encounter. That you will come to know him like never before. God bless you all. I love you with the love of Christ. Thank mm-hmm. you.